Is it possible to create a software with computer vision to measure the size of objects with an accuracy of one millimeter or more? We're not going to discuss about different camera setups that can be used to achieve these results. And also we're going to see some real life tests that I'm going to do right now. Let's go. Hi, welcome to this new video. I'm Sergio, I'm a computer vision consultant, developer, course instructor, and founder of PySource. At PySource, we build computer vision solutions to help companies improve their process efficiency, reliability, and scalability. Among the requests that we get for computer vision custom softwares, uh, one that we have is about measuring the size of objects. And this could be on any kind of activity or scenario where you want to measure animals, you want to measure uh, objects, you want to, to measure boxes. What we're going to focus on today is this on industrial settings. An example where this could be useful is on manufacturing companies where uh, you might have objects on a conveyor belt where they uh, either they need to be measured uh, to make sure that their size uh, is correct to, to see if there is any problem with the, the, size, the size of defects or even measure some part of the object to see if it's not going out of some margin of the belt, for example, to see if the objects are placed uh, correctly. So there are many ways where you might need this solution. And among the requests that we also get is one of the important uh, things uh, uh, to achieve a good result is the accuracy. Uh, some scenarios might require accuracy of centimeters with camera with the camera that can be placed, for example, uh, two or three meters of distance. Some scenario might require much higher accuracy where you want to make sure that it's up to maximum one millimeter of error. We will see now how to achieve this. Now, before we get into uh, a prototype that I built, so here I have a very basic prototype that I built to, uh, to see how this uh, software can work. I'm going to talk about the cameras that are commonly known for measuring objects. We start from the uh, most popular one that you have seen and I've used also this one in the past for videos. This is an Intel RealSense depth cameras. Uh, this camera has a stereo, uh, stereo vision, uh, infrared and through that we can get the measurements uh, of objects. Mostly like this camera can give you the distance uh, of any object in the space and through, the, uh, through that and the stereo vision you can also get uh, measurements. Uh, we have another one from RealSense. Uh, this is a LiDAR camera which has a similar purpose only it's a different technology. And then we have also another one which is the OpenCV eye kit. Uh, very popular nowadays in the computer vision community. This one is a stereo camera. You see there are two cameras on the sides with that have the purpose to give you how far an object is. And now I'm, well, I'm talking about measurements and now I'm also talking about how far the object, but when you can get the distance of the object, you can also uh, get uh, measurements, of course, with certain limitations. These are common known devices that can be used for this task. Uh, only uh, these devices are not the best on an industrial setting. Uh, uh, one of the reasons is the connection. It's, it's just one of the reasons. For example, these devices are only USB devices. So when it's USB cable device, normally you can't use a cable that it's longer than two or three meters uh, before having any problem with that. So let's now see what camera I'm going to use today. This is an industrial camera from the Dahang Imaging. Now I have this uh, placed on the tripod. So this is the camera here. I might put some specs. You can check some specs. I will put uh, a blog post and you can read more about uh, if you want to know about the camera that I'm using. 
So this is the camera and this is the lens. Very important is the lens doesn't need to have a distortion. So this is a crucial uh, part of our project because the distortion of the lens will of course give problem uh, later with the accuracy. So I hope that this was a very clear brief interaction about the cameras that we are going to uh, that are commonly known for this. Uh, I might um, if there is interest share the difference in, about cameras in another videos in other videos. Let's now instead understand how we can measure the length um, using this camera. What I have right here is uh, a simple prototype that I built to take the frame in real time from the camera and then uh, perform the measurements using computer vision. Uh, let me run this one so that we get the stream. What you see right, uh, right now, it's in real time from the camera. Uh, the colors uh, seems a bit strange because I didn't um, uh, I didn't properly set like the camera colors, but it's not important now for our settings. So what I have right here is some rulers so that we can double check the measurements and make sure that what is displayed on the screen, uh, it's, uh, it's correct. Uh, what I did here is we click on the initial point. Let's say we click on the, where is placed the five and then where is placed the six, a bit more than the six. And in this case, it's telling you the distance of that specific part. So here we have like from five to 6.1, and it says length 11 millimeter. So I can click anywhere and it will say the distance. So for example, this point from this point is distance 187 millimeter. Let me place uh, here some object. So we can place this camera, for example, and we can measure the one side of the camera, it says length 93 millimeter and the precision is very high up to the margin of error is one millimeter or less and it can be even improved uh, further than this if it's uh, properly calibrated. Um, I can give you some more testing now let me check here from 17 to around 15, 20 millimeter you can see And of course, this is possible through only this single camera uh, to measure only one length. Uh, this means that this kind of setup will not work uh, to measure the entire object, uh, all the size of the objects, because in that case, of course, it's much more complex. It will require more uh, advanced devices. In this case, like the, the interior sense is one of uh, one example. And also, of course, this is a very basic solution because uh, you can integrate, for example, this with deep learning and it will automatically measure everything. You can say if you want to measure in an industrial setting thousands of objects uh, per day or per hour, you will have a computer vision uh, with deep learning setup, which when the object is passing, it will understand what object is that and it, it will automatically measure and it can give you, for example, an alert if there is some problem with the objects and so on. Uh, the purpose of this video is only showing you the precision and the accuracy that we can get and also to give you an idea that this can be developed uh, much farther. The solution can get very advanced when you introduce this one, uh, this camera, this uh, solution with artificial intelligence. This was just a quickly overview and explanation of object measurements and what you can achieve with computer vision. Uh, if you are a developer and you want to learn more about computer vision, I also have one course where I teach how to build computer vision solutions for, from scratch to detect and track any object. I'm going to leave the link down below. It's called Object Detection with OpenCV and Deep Learning. Link down below so you can access to that. If you have a company and you want to implement 
custom computer vision solutions, you can contact us so that we can discuss how we can help your company. All the links again down below in the description, you can go on pysource.com and set a discovery call with us. This is all for this video, see you in the next one.